Hello, I'm Linda Rockwood, owner of Mohawk Valley GIS. I'm going to share with you all the features of our No Reception Needed Trail app. Many of these features have been requested by riders like you. We'd love to hear your suggestions, so keep them coming. Let's get started. Let's start the app. Tap on the icon. If the map opens up in Syracuse, this is an indication that you do not have GPS location enabled either in your phone or in the app. And double check, just tap the compass icon here. If you do not see your GPS blue dot and you're not at Hancock Airport right now, then this is not right. <laughs> so exit out of the app. Let's go back into phone settings and make sure location services is turned on back out and now let's go back into the app and you want to tap uh, there are two menu icons the one on the right takes you to your settings for the app you want to make sure under location that use GPS location is turned on and show current location is turned on so let's just quickly review other options in here map type is a Google background map street satellite or hybrid if you lose reception for any period of time, you will lose your Google background map. However, we give you a display, a gray background with a display of town names to help you still orient yourself. Keep screen on. This prevents the app from going to sleep and it keeps the display lit up. This is helpful if you mount your phone. Um, make sure you protect it though. Keep Map Center does exactly that as you're riding the display of the map will move with you. GPS breadcrumb tracking. Uh, you can drop a breadcrumb at 50, 100, or 200 feet. Navigation, if you're going to use our new turn-by-turn -turn navigation and you have a Bluetooth enabled helmet or earbuds or earphones or something, um, enable voice navigation. And then overhead view, this is, this is a very nice view. We think you'll like this feature. Um, you you want to keep that checked on. So let's double check again. Um, typically what's going to happen if you had location turned off in your phone and in the app, you're going to have to completely stop the app, hold down the phone's home button, swipe the app away, exit out of there, and then you're going to have to actually go outside or go to a window so that you can reconnect with the GPS satellites. Um, otherwise the app just, it, it will not find you and you will not see your blue dot. One other thing to point out is the weather radar. Um, this is just a toggle on and off, and I think we have some weather today, like out of the area up here. You can see a little bit of the weather radar. So that's just an on-off. It's, it's helpful, though, if you know a storm is coming. We have several features you can display on the map. You'll want to use the left menu icon and then just scroll down a little bit to map display. You can turn on businesses, trails, intersections, trail markers, waypoints, club events, and the covered bridge challenge, which is the route and all the bridges. So just swipe that back and then tap on any symbols that display on the map. So as you can see, it, it's a real mess to turn everything on all at once. Well, let's just tap here. So this is S75B. This is the Deerfield Snow Trails Club uh, phone number to contact, and this was GPS in 2014, for example. I'm going to tap an intersection pin, a red pin. This is Junction Oneida 43. There are three connecting trails. You can continue to tap red pins and build a route inside the app that you can follow. We are going to be taking this feature out of the app next year for two reasons. One, the route planner in the web map is much easier to use. And second, because this tapping a route feature is really slowing down the trail display in the app and we want to make moving the map around much faster for you. So I'm going to tap a business pin. Um, let's do, well here's Houdon Sled Salvage. Just tap for more information. Um, hours, anything special going on in the business, uh, possible website link, and so on. 
Um, you can tap anything else, which would include club events, waypoints, the covered bridges. Just tap to see more information. And we do suggest that you keep the trails on and most of everything else off for performance reasons. And here's a quick tip. If you want to move the map all the way across the state, turn the trails off as well. Zoom out. And then you can just really quickly move the map. And then when you get back to where you want to be, zoom it back in and then turn the trails back on. You can use the app to mark your own waypoints and to capture your ride. You must have GPS turned on with these features, so make sure that you see your blue dot. So to set waypoints, just tap the menu on the left side and then mark waypoint. And you have two choices, either at your current location or select on the map. I'm going to go ahead and tap right on the map to set my waypoint. And yes, I would like to save it there. You have four choices of flags, either a generic, a dining stop, a gas stop, or scenic. I'll just do scenic for demo purposes. And we'll just type in demo. And it's telling me waypoints are, dis are disabled in the display. So you want to go back into map display and set waypoints so that you can see all of your waypoints. And then just tap any waypoint and it will tell you the name of the waypoint. And you can also um, edit and delete your waypoints as well. For breadcrumb tracking, it's similar. Just come back into the menu on the left, start breadcrumbing, and confirm and say yes. The status will display in the top of your screen that it's on and how many miles you have traveled so far. When you're all done, just tap the menu again. Stop breadcrumb will be your choice and confirm yes. And if you had breadcrumbs, which we do not, it would ask you to save them and give them a file name. You can load your breadcrumbs at any time by going back to the right menu and load route. And we have a few different examples here. Let's just pull up the trip to the gas station. So your breadcrumbs show as, as purple dots, as you can see. Once you have breadcrumbs displayed, you have other choices. You can resave it, you can clear it off the screen, or totally delete it off your phone. And you can also share your breadcrumb tracks. So you can email them either to someone else who also has the app, for instance. They can then open it up and use it in their app. You can also email to yourself, save the file on your desktop or laptop, and then you can use it inside our free web map. So just fill in. Um, it's a KML file that is attached to your email. Those files can also be viewed in Google Earth. So we're outside in the car now to demonstrate turn-by-turn -turn navigation. In order for this to work, you must be within 150 meters, which is about a tenth of a mile, from the trails for your start and your destination. So we are on Route 12. Um, we're going to go to the Deerfield Covered Bridge. The trail that I'm showing along Route 12, this is fake. We put this in to create this video. So please do not come here to sled. Um, I have Covered Bridge Challenge turned on. I have trails turned on. Turn by turn navigation. Choose our destination either by selecting on the map or selecting a waypoint that we already programmed in here. And I'm going to select on the map. I'm going to tap the covered bridge, Deerfield Snow Trails, it tells me to tap the pop-up to navigate to that destination, and now it's telling me turn... Travel northeast 2.2 miles on trail test to intersection MV. Okay, as you hopefully caught that, we're being told to proceed um, along trail test, which like I said is a fake trail, to a particular intersection, in this case MV, which is also a fake intersection that we put in for demonstration purposes. So we're going along the road now. Actually, we're just getting onto the highway from the ramp, which you can see here in the map view. And we are bouncing along. This particular highway um, has a lot of connections and makes for a lot of bouncing. Um, but 
hopefully we can hold this pretty steady, hold the phone steady, hold the camera steady, so you get a pretty good indication of what's happening. Um, at any point, you can stop navigation. You also can refresh your route, and you will be given an indication here of how far it is to your destination. And at this point, we're actually relatively close, um, so this is displaying in meters rather than miles. So, sorry I don't have any good jokes to tell or anything. Um, <laughs> there's really not too much to talk about here. We're driving along Route 12. Uh, we're not in sight of any trails yet, as you can see, any real trails. Keep straight and approaching intersection MV. And hopefully intersection you... MV reached. Travel east 1.1 miles on trail test to intersection MV. Hopefully you caught all that. Sorry for the interruption. Um, so it told us to continue straight when we got to the intersection. And then it told us to continue 1.1 miles to our destination. And we are following along. As you can see, the real trail um, is just off to the right. Um, and I can see it. And no one is riding on it. Although snow cover is rather thin. And up ahead you can see in the display the covered bridge, which is our destination. We're following the green trail at this point. And I can see the actual covered bridge out the car window. Turn sharp right at approaching intersection MV. Now we will not be turning sharp. Travel southwest 0.1 miles on trail C7A to intersection your destination. Wait, we are not turning sharp right. Obviously, we are not coming down off the highway onto the trail to our destination. But hopefully this will give course. you a good indication of how this works. And because we are still moving, the app has told us that we are moving off course. All of us here at Mohawk Valley GIS, thank you for your support. We have been sharing profits with our member snowmobile clubs since 2012. We love getting your feedback and suggestions. Please tell a friend about nysnowmobilewebmap.com. This project is brought to you by Mohawk Valley GIS in Utica, New York. We offer website and custom app design, paper map design, interactive maps, and data creation and analysis using geographic information system software. We help businesses, organizations, and local governments communicate better and work more effectively. Thanks for supporting a small local business with big ideas.